set up pre-search node. Head over your node's dashboard. Let's go pick up some pre. Over here to the right, press transfer pre. Once on this page, click on from blockchain. Here is the address you want to send your pre to. Copy this address. Purchase pre tokens. I purchased my pre search tokens from KuCoin, so let's go to KuCoin now. You will need to send some crypto from Coinbase, Crypto.com, or some exchange like that. I purchased Bitcoin from Coinbase, transferred that over to KuCoin, exchanged that for pre search tokens. And here we are. Send pre to your pre search dashboard. With the address that we just copied from pre search, paste that here. Select the amount of pre-search tokens you want to send. Remember, it costs a minimum of 2,000 pre-search tokens to create one node. Once you have sent over your pre to your dashboard, then the fun begins. As you can see here, I already have 4,000 pre-tokens state in two nodes with an additional 134 pre. While we wait for my additional 2,000 pre to arrive, let's move on to the next step. Download and install PuTTY. Go to putty.org. See the link in the description below. Press here to download Putty. On the next page, choose the right version for your computer. I'm a Windows guy, so please research what program or app will be needed for the Mac users out there. Once you have installed Putty, search your computer for Putty Gen. Select Putty Gen to generate your SSH key. Right here, press Generate. As stated here above the green bar, please generate some randomness by moving the mouse over the blank screen. You can't see my mouse, but it is moving all over this blank area. Once complete, you will see something like this. Save your public key. I just saved mine in a folder on my desktop. Now save your private key in the same place. Don't close PuTTY yet. Leave everything as it is for now. Deploy node servers on UpCloud. Here are my two nodes already deployed on UpCloud. Please see a link to UpCloud in the description below. Most of the time, there is some kind of deal for both of us when this link is used. Right now, I think it is a $25 credit on both of our accounts. Who knows what it will be next week? Now let me walk you through this node setup with my third pre-search node. First, go to your account in the top right, click on Billing, and add 5 to $10 for now. The free plan does not have the specs needed to run a successful server. Hopefully, you will have the same deal as I did when I signed up when using the link below. At $5 to $10 and the $25 credit is added immediately. Now, press Deploy Server here. Scroll down here and choose either of these three US servers. Now select the $5 per month plan here. This plan has the specs needed to run a successful server. Now, all the way down here near the bottom of the page, Choose the Ubuntu Server 20.04. Login Method Under Login Method, choose SSH Keys. The first time setting this, you will want to give your SSH key to name. Now back to the PuTTY program. Select all here and then copy. Paste the data right here and then press Save the SSH key. Now this SSH key will be available to check this box only for any future nodes you may set up. Installation Script I have left a link to this script below in the description. Right here, where you see your code here, this is where you put your registration code. You can find your registration code here. Press copy here when the time comes. I will load for my saved installation script, but since this is your first time, right click and then copy this code. Paste it here. Since this code is in Google Sheets, an apostrophe was added to the beginning and end of this script. You must remove both of these for this to work correctly. Go back to your node registration code here and press copy. Paste this where you see your code here and then press add as saved script. Now, this script will be available as a drop down for any future nodes you may set up. Come down here to server name and change this to whatever name you like and then press deploy. The server is booting up. Once this light turns green, we will know that the server is up and running. Here it shows the server was deployed. And down here, we see that this light is now turned green. Just an FYI, we can run this server without staking anything if we want to. 
we would be supporting the network but not being rewarded. There are several reasons someone may want to do this, so I figured I would let you know. I enabled automated payments to ensure my nodes are always running with minimal ongoing work on my end. Oh, when I signed up, the deal was that I received a free $10 to $25 credit after my first $10 purchase. So that is what you see here. Again, I am unsure what the UpCloud deal will be by the time you are watching this video. Back to our pre-search dashboard to finalize this process. Update current nodes on the dashboard. As you can see here, we have a node running with no node description or token state. Well, let's go hook this bad boy up. Press the edit icon here. What amount do you want to stake? Remember, there is a minimum of 2,000. I chose the same descriptions I used in UpCloud so that I would remember which node here corresponds to which server on UpCloud. This node has now been updated. Welcome to the pre-search node family. Over time, you will see your total searches, reliability score, and pre-earned all increase. If you're still here, thanks for making it this far in the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the links below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell as it will help out this channel a lot. Check out one or both of the videos listed here on this page. And as always, learn more, hustle on, and power through. Thank you, and see you all in just a few minutes.